What? Yeah. Uh. What? Yeah. What? It's your boy Red Dooski, and you are now tuned into the Spiel Podcast. Let's go. y'all for tuning in to another episode of the spill podcast and yet and yet we have two legendary guests of the spill podcast (laughs) show nikki b and asia (laughs) y'all yeah we be back give it up for him give it up for him What's up? What's up with y'all? What's, what's going up, on? Red? We back up in here. Yeah. How y'all been though? I've been seeing y'all. You look, like, you ain't been seeing me. Came through the door. Red was like, wait a minute. Yeah, it's a nice surprise and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. This thank video you. is definitely gonna be put out. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. not the only one gonna be flabbergasted. Yeah, I, I think everybody right now that's that didn't log in it was yeah. kind of like what the world yeah oh no so um for the for our viewers and the listeners right um nikki we're gonna start with you just tell the people who you are and give a just give a quick background of you know of you you know what i'm saying ain't gotta be too really detrimental like i need no intro no, I'm, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm i'm messing around um what's up everybody i'm nikki b Let's see. What do I do? What am I into? Now, nah, seriously, I'm she got a lot TV. going on. I ain't I need to cut you off. I, like I, do. Look, I ain't, I ain't need to, to cut you off. She got a lot going on. Hold on, no red. I've been reading my um expanded vocabulary book, and it's I don't mean to interject. I don't mean. <laughs> 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 um, says that I'm Nikki B. I sell lingerie. I do custom clothing. I also um am the creator of Business in Black. Mm-hmm. Which is an organization, an organization, an event that's created for entrepreneurs to come together, network, build their own community amongst the resources that they need to help themselves and others. Um, and I partner with Asia, and we have the Women's Empowerment, which we are now working on the second annual Women's second Empowerment one. that's happening on May fourteenth. Um, can we get? Can we get um, some <laughs> some 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 applause for that? They on round two of the women empowerment. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Let's go. Most definitely. Round two, the theme is Had to Be Her to Become Me, mm-hmm. which was created by Miss Asia Morris, which is like super freaking dope. Um, y'all get with us for those tickets. We still got a few seats available. You can get them on Eventbrite or just contact Asia or myself. Okay. Hey, Asia. Asia. Hello, 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 hello. Asia got a lot of stuff going on, y'all. Asia, Asia, tell them, just give them the same thing, a little background, what you got going on, who you are, you know, for the people that don't know you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm Asia Morris, and you can follow me at um, G-I-M-M-I-W-A-T-I-W-A-N-T. I I might need to go ahead and shorten that. (laughs) (laughs) It sounds like you're trying to say humpback, humpback. (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) You need to spell it like that, friend. What? Like G-I, humpback, humpback, I. I like that. It's like a, I don't know. I'm I just try to keep the same stuff. <laughs> yeah. People always find me. Right. <clears throat> um, of course, I want to speak on the Women's Empowerment event, being that that's the closest. Um, yeah. We doing that just to help empower the woman in Richmond. We know it's a lot going on right now. Mm-hmm. We got a trauma healing exercise. We also have um, a judge speaking on the title of the event itself, Had to Be Heard to Become Me. Mm-hmm. 
Judge Maryland and Juvenile Juvenile Court, right? Mm-hmm. Um, juvenile and Domestic Relations Court. Yes. yes. We have um, Geraldine Smith speaking on fempreneurship, which is hard in itself, being a woman entrepreneur. Mm. Okay. We have someone speaking on credit. That's amazing because everyone needs to know about that. That means more than money. Mm-hmm. All right. Um. Let me see. You can purchase the tickets on Eventbrite at her versus me and power dot eventbrite dot com. We do have about probably fifteen tickets left. We have tickets on hand we'll and tickets. on Eventbrite as well. Um, follow Nikki B on IG as well mm-hmm. at what? I Nick by Nikki B. That's I N I I K by Nikki B. Yeah. Oh, tell them about your um. Oh, the spoken sp- word. Sp- I also have a spoken yeah. word. Yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on. Right. Look, hold up. Funny. Right. Hold up. Because I've been doing my little research. <laughs> okay. I've been doing my little research, and right, and and I think you did like I think you did a couple of them. The spoken word. Mm-hmm. So what 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 came across you that you know that you want to get into that field because that's a whole nother art, you know, a whole nother creativity, you know. By choice of words and allowing that to be in the city of Richmond, because I ain't never been to one in Richmond yet. Really? So you right. coming to my next one? What? Let's do it. Let's do it. Be, look, hold Let's on. Do I don't it. mean to interject, but we having the same issues like last time. Y'all know my head is flat in the back. Oh my goodness! It just keeps sliding. I'm gonna try to put it in front. Of it's all the hair. Yeah, that's it. No, I ain't got no hair back there. It's all in the front. <laughs> it's like real big here and nothing in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing. Go ahead, my bad. It's okay. I had a long day. I just be acting like I ain't tired. Bruh, yeah. <laughs> I know how I be. I just act happy. Right. Um, so the spoken word came about because I know there's so many shootings going on in the clubs and stuff. I just mm. wanted to introduce a good, nice older vibe for the older crowd and younger crowd to right. crowd to interact all in one. Um, it is a smoke friendly building as well, so that's always a plus. Um, spoken word is just it's, it's healing for the soul I wrote it while I was incarcerated And then I just wanted to put some of mine out there And um, allow others to put it out there as well So that's something that I'm doing Every other Wednesday at 2805 Hall Street Road My next one is May 10th And um, $5 entry And I also allow vendors to come in and sell Just about vendors six Vendors tap in if you want to be there Selling your merchandise Right. Um so oh so you so you perform. You you go up there and say the word too? I do. I've done my oh. same one for the past few times. <laughs> That's how <laughs> I have though. quite a few. That's all right though. I ain't tripping on that. That's all right. Yes, yeah. sir. I seen Rob was at the last one. What's up, Rob? Shout out to Rob with Peace Clothing. Oh yes, he killed it. He always yes. does. He, he always killed it. I hope he come back. pieces for business and black. I love just how like Rob's energy. You know what I'm saying? Rob is right. a really good dude. I've been knowing Rob since I was a kid. So, that's just dope. Yeah, we got. I got to check that out. I got to check that out because I'm about to hit the streets. It's getting warm. So, I'm about to take this camera and microphone out in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, you definitely got to come through. It's a real nice vibe. Yeah. It puts you just like you. I mean, the snaps, like incense. It's all yeah. the smoke. You know, it's just everything. It's but, you know, I'm so, I'm so, I'm such a humorous guy. Mm-hmm. I might get on stage my damn self. Just do it. Just go with it. <laughs> comedy too. Karaoke. We don't right. this this week coming up, we'll do karaoke comedy. Okay. That's as right. well. So and um I forgot what I was gonna say that fast. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Did, um are you are you in the mix of like writing a book or something? Mm-hmm. Oh yes. The title of the woman's empowerment book is the book I wrote um in two thousand I forget right now. But I have not published the book. The book will be published this year. I don't know a month or a time. I'm still finalizing the last details. Okay. Okay. But the book name is Had to Be Heard to Become Me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all look out for that. These these females, these women, they got stuff going in the city, man. Y'all, yeah, got some for stuff real. Going. Gotta have some motion. Even when you're not moving, like, on the front, you know, on the front line, you gotta still be putting in some work. Right. Cause it do, it doesn't like go unnoticed for yourself. Most Grind part. don't stop. Right. Yeah, y'all keep doing what y'all doing. I f- I feel like well, you know, just outside person looking in, you know, as a friend, that 
y'all doing a very good job. You know, just keep, just keep going. Thank you know what I'm you. saying? I don't remember a whole lot of uh, women leadership as a youngin. Mm-hmm. I know it was going on, but it probably wasn't broadcast like it is now. You know what I'm saying? I so, feel like it was so like. I, it kind of was like so well kept just amongst like the older women more. Yeah. So, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. you, like you said, like younger right. was more like, you know, once you get there to that age, it's like, all right, either you figured it out or you didn't. Right. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then it's like, maybe we can step in or maybe we will accept you. Maybe we won't accept you. Cause mm. you have those crowds too, even to this day right. where it's like women who may be, or just men too, you know, but we speaking on women um, who have reached a certain level. Right. Of just whether it's mental healing, you know, mm. emotional healing, um, some type of goal or accomplishment amongst themselves or business. And right. it's like, share that. You know what I'm saying? Even if you aren't as successful as you appear to be to yourself or to someone else, like, just share what you overcame so much so far because it can help somebody. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then bring in other people who have accomplished more or who have more knowledge so they can share it with you and the person that's, mm. you know what I'm saying, alongside you, beneath you, whatever you may want to look at it as, you know what I'm saying? Like, eventually, they might be beyond yeah. you, you right. know what I'm saying? Right. Like you really trying to categorize right. it right. in those tiers, but um, you have people who do that, okay. and that's why it's kind of like, you know, so hard to get those resources or to feel as if like you want to reach the next level because mm-hmm. a lot of people don't open up their arms. They were selective to who they open their arms to. You, 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 you guys have seen that thus far, like far as yeah. I've seen that even like before, like women's environment or yeah. business in black. I've seen that in terms of just like what us, well, with myself and like the group of females that I was throwing like parties with back in the day. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, just in general, whether it's designing clothes, mm-hmm. throwing parties, or like you say, just in life in general. I know you've seen it too, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, mm-hmm. like it's it's crazy. Like people really would like put themselves on the pedestal to a certain extent, or maybe like I said, they just kind of like real kind of like restricted on who they allow access yeah. to and yeah. i get the whole right. like protect my peace protect right. my energy type thing but depending on what field you're in if you're putting yourself out there to appear as if you know you're all about helping somebody and you want to see the next person grow right then what you doing you know I what i mean that. so look let's get back to this woman empowerment stuff right what's been what's been the motivation behind starting this woman empowerment in the city I knew she was ready to look at me. Cause you got the best answer. Uh, <laughs> it was it was just me being incarcerated and just writing down my goals and things that I wanted to accomplish once coming right. home. Mm-hmm. And a woman's event was one of them. Um, it's just a need for women empowering other women. Like she was just talking about is branching off of that. I, my saying is we are better together. We are better together. Yeah. Are better together. Mm-hmm. And just to help heal, it's a lot of um opioid you, addiction and You say that every I don't mean to cut you off. You say that yeah. every day? Like that's like one of your affirmations. You felt it, stuff. didn't it? Yeah. It's like we are better together. Yeah, I know, like, right? Real, like, it's, it's, it's something yeah. like a something like a something like a woo saw. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. That's why I asked you, did you say that you should I have to say that to myself too sometimes. Right. It's just like she was saying, sometimes right. you do not you don't want to work with new people. It's a lot, it's emotions. You mm. build friendships within business partnerships and sometimes you're just not open to new friends, you're just open to new business partners. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. that's you know what? That right there. There is something that um, a lot of people don't know how to separate to. But it's it's easily to, like, cross those lines. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Because, like, in doing business, it's not just business. It is personal. Like, right. your business is your baby, so that's very personal. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So at the end of the day, when you're doing business and if it's something that you're partnering up with somebody, you're quite sure that they have the same passion in you know whatever it is you're right. pa- partnering partnering up to do, so those like qualities that y'all have that similar or like interests or whatever in business sometimes it's like oh yeah well sure well come on like we can sit yeah. down and have lunch and discuss this business yeah. and then it's like okay yeah all right now the business over it's like well they're not kind of just my friend. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> I think being in business while black is tough enough. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's like you go, you have to go through so much extra stuff to get them to believe in you. Right. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Especially in the city right now. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. It's a lot of like cons that's being held against oh, all of us. Man, like whether you're a imagine. man or a woman doing right. business, you know. I can only imagine. Like for one, you got a lot of people will like restrict you just because you're young. Yeah. You know oh. what I'm saying? Like like you're a joke. I remember even just before I started doing business myself, but look at it this way, like I was an assistant manager at DTLI at the age of 19 right you know what i'm saying and little did a lot of people know like the blue book for dclr i said the blue book the actual um training book was like the blueprint for business one-on-one in college oh really i didn't find that out until after i already became an assistant manager we started going to college at Reynolds, taking business one-on-one and everything i learned within that first semester was something I had already taught with, with of a different term mm. from being trained how to be a manager. Right. You know what I mean? So needless to say, I had the ability already. I was learning how to be a business owner, operate a business. So for me to go to another co- company and say, hey, look, I'm 19. I'm running a major shoe store, clothing right. store, blah, 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 hire me. They're looking at me like, girl, you 19. <laughs> Yeah. Running detail out. Yeah. Drug dealers and stuff shop there. You are yeah. a joke. <laughs> you do not have the right credentials. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it took me a long time um, after DCLI to like accept that and to trying to figure out like that was a part of uh, that her story. Right. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Right. Like to become me. That was part of that. And one of the many phases of it, like, what do I do now? Because mm. it feels like that's all I had at one point and I don't have DCLR no more. Right. And in the corporate world, I'm not being taken serious because I don't have the degree to back it up. But shit, I know everything without the degree. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. I think um, I was 19. I think uh, our generation, when it comes to like schooling, like I'm not pu- I'm not pushing off college to any young students, but they, it was pushed on our group so much mm-hmm. that the like the tech programs lost kind of lost its identity. Yeah, mm-hmm. I don't care where you go, any new building, it's gonna need HVAC, plumbing, electricity, all that stuff. Right. So, oh, yeah. so, so to the, you know, people in the urban areas, you know, you know, some people that think they can't get in college, you know, they should, the same program should be offered to those guys. You know right. what I'm saying? But uh, you know what? They're not going to do it because they already know. Not there, y'all. They're not going to do it because they already know, like, at that point, it'll be too accessible. Right. It's too accessible. Why, why too is that easy. so bad, though? That's why is that so bad? You know what I'm saying? That's too easy for people. <laughs> <laughs> they want people to want it and not sit in there and it's not it's a it's a draw on having good teachers so they probably don't want right. people in there that's not really willing right. if you make an extra step to where right. you got to sign up and meet this credential if it was just a matter of you just coming in just like school how many people you know just at school you got to be at school yeah you get you in do. trouble some right. people don't want to be at school i didn't want to be at school Shoot, people <laughs> sit in school they find I mean, certain subjects, right. they, they, i just right. want to know school. how to count money right, right. Read. multiple i divide once algebra <laughs> right. came I won't. I'm, I stopped. I I didn't feel I needed algebra in my adult life. I don't think I. I don't think I use no algebra problem to I solve anything. I haven't used it for nothing. I, I can't. Look, right. I, I I was able to say that, but I can't say that now because I'm really? in pharmacy technician. Right, you know what I'm saying. So okay, it, 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 okay. All, it, it, all right, yeah, you gotta I got you. go like with, with lane. You end up heading. And I'm you. not saying you know not to saying? learn it for the children. They do watch just my life and, and anything that's placed in my life where I have to use algebra. I will utilize my trusting assistant right. or somebody in right. place because I know myself and I know right. what I'm good and bad at. Mm-hmm. I'm not good at. Algebra. I feel as though I feel as though some subjects, like you just now said, uh, financial literacy. When they teach in credit, I feel like. That should have been pushed amongst the yeah. seniors before they walk the stage. Bro, I, what was what was we just talking about that on? They doing trick now to graduate. Trichonometry, I believe. That's what I've Oh yeah, that. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, but the credit thing. Oh yeah, on the last podcast. Like, yeah, like they don't like I think they're teaching teaching it more so now. Really? Mm-hmm. In like school? the credit. Like credit. In school? I th- I don't think it's like a full course. But in somewhere down the line in high school, I want to say maybe Unique had told me that they was doing it. 
I can't really remember what it was. They touched base on it. Yeah, but the curriculum still. just changed. It's yeah. Like, yeah, and then like Cruz said, he goes to um, different schools and like teach. But right. again, that's just them bringing somebody in, so all schools don't right. have that opportunity yeah. as well. Right, you know, right. but they don't. They didn't right. push credit at all. Like I said, when I was younger, I didn't know what credit was. I oh. think it's the matter of the people that are teaching credit. They teaching it in a. A uh, capacity to put what people can't understand. It's, it yeah. needs to be a not lot like, of credit yeah, for dummies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's still yeah. some things, honestly, that I don't know that I right. and, and you right. know from what my grandma learned and the stuff she tell me from me hearing people say, "Oh, just get a credit card and just watch yeah. this." And it's just nobody teaching a credit for dummy like right. nothing in the bud. Step one, two, three, mm-hmm. and then you move on to step four, five, six. It should right. be like a you know a mm-hmm. credit for dummies. That's why a lot of people don't know it because it's being taught. In terminology where people can't interpret it. So right. it's like right. you sitting and taking a class, but you've got nothing from it. And then you expect it to know it. A lot of people probably ex- think at the age they are not knowing, they're embarrassed to tell the person that's teaching them. Yeah. I didn't get nothing you said. I need like a tutoring class after this, or can I call you? Right, right. And then if it's all 15 like people need to call that one person, right? you know how busy they're going to be? <laughs> but that's when they start getting paid. <laughs> right. Cause I know, I know for sure. Like I told my mom the other day, like if I would have knew about credit by then, I would have known you'd had that light bill, my, my <laughs> and the cable bill, <laughs> and the cable bill. <laughs> Listen, cause she had messed up. She had needed another shot. You think you <laughs> was her way out? Oh, what you don't know, Brad? She told yeah, she, oh, what you she, don't know. She don't needed a second chance on me. Yeah, you was her second chance. <laughs> don't do her. <laughs> Look, I'm just, I can say that because my mom ain't putting nothing in my name. <laughs> oh, snap. Right. I see like a rock on here. He doing a lot of good stuff. Yeah, shout yeah. out to him. He said, What's yeah, up, Rock? Up. Yeah, What's shout out to like the Rock, man. That's my, that's my boy, man. Summer camp coming up for the kids. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, so what was the turning point? Was it was it Nikki that said something to Asia? Was it Asia to say something to Nikki? Like, listen. I said something to Nikki. Oh. And she came to a business in black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Give I it wish, up for Asia, I wish man. y'all could hear these claps. Give it up for Asia. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Asia came. She meant, she meant business, too, because she came through. Um, we met at a pop-up that I had did. You was your business in black event I came to. Yeah. 45 minutes. Mm-hmm. Or last 30 minutes, really. Uh huh. And she pulled up. She was like, Look, come on, let's go get a drink. I wanted to talk some business to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. She was all cute. I was like, All right, come on. The pull up was strong. Hey, that, uh, that, that, she, networking. she had me so. Networking. She had me so, too. I was like, Okay, I'm feeling shorty. What I presented to you, a pop up or just straight to the women? No, nah, no, nah, we were straight women's- to the women's empowerment. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. Like, yeah, I've been doing it. She was even telling me the decor. She already had bought some decor and everything. We ain't even never used that damn decor yet. Yeah. <laughs> some little lambs. Oh, yeah, I still got them lambs at the house. See, I wanted right. to have a, what was it called? I forgot. What's that word everybody used to say? I don't know. Um, that's on my head a little lamb or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's on my head a little lamb. Yeah. That was it. That was yeah. the slogan. Yeah, so um so y'all come together and you said Asia, you say cause you was, you know, um incarcerated mm-hmm. and Nick, you been um, uh, you know, doing <clears throat> you started from you said detail uh, mm-hmm. then you started your business aspect, right? Mm-hmm. So how did y'all how did y'all gel so well because y'all got two different backgrounds? You know what I'm saying? What- we ain't know. Wow. We we went we like we said we went in this as business. We didn't right. know. Like I said, like I met her at a pop up prior and she bought some lingerie from me like that same year. Right. And then like three. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Asia. First of all, <laughs> I gotta do another one. Asia. She she went up to Nick, she did a proposal, and she supported her in the same day. No, that was nah, before. That, that was that was like, before. That was like different support. So she did like multiple support. So okay. she, she came to the pop up. She bought some lingerie. We met, and then she had a pop up. Was that no. before or after? After at the eight hundred four eight hundred four lounge on Hall Street. But no, but that was yeah, before yeah. the women's empowerment, right? Oh yeah. But that yeah. that was like before the. You know my memory not the best. I know. Like, don't stop I got like, baby brain right now too, so it don't even matter. We both messed up right now. Yeah. All I know is 
she yeah, we met at the pop up. She bust on lingerie. Um, after that, she came to the business in black, and she pulled up with the proposal. Okay. Yeah. And, yeah. It, and it just all made sense. It just all made sense. That's what I'm like. Talking my main about. thing is like it got to make sense because it can anything can make money, right? You know what I'm saying? Like even if you swindle it, but that may not be equal to your partner, right? You know what I'm saying? So it had to make sense, and it made sense. And it wasn't as if it was something that she was like willing to just be like, "I'm gonna do it," and I just want you to do this, or yeah, I'm gonna right. just come up with that idea, and then right. I want you to do er- everything right. of this. Like it was just an equal opportunity all the way around the board, and we saw eye to eye. So that's a, just, that's a good child. It just and look, two years incredible. in, we sweet. Yeah, two right, years we really in. Sweet. Yes, People sir. say we look like cousins or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so look, <clears throat> so y'all coming together, right? Putting this event together, which is which is May fourteenth. Yeah, May on 14th, Mother's Day. On Mother's, Mother's Day. Day. From At what time? PM At what? To four p.m. Twelve p.m. To four p.m. So listen, y'all did the first one, right? Uh-huh. So explain to me from the first one and the difference to, between the second one, the planning process. The first one was more to do. We had to um, have the food brought in ourselves. My mom did the food and the mm-hmm. catering and everything. Really, this second one <clears throat> is less for us to do because we have like somebody mark. We have somebody marketing for us as well as us. Um, okay. We don't have to worry about the food. We don't have to worry really about the decorations because we have the quirk down on West Broad. So everything is done in house. Really, we okay. just have to sell the tickets. Come in good spirits. And just we had to select the um the guest speakers. The guest speakers. The it vendors. was easier this year because people right. were coming to us. <clears throat> Last year we had to come That's to them. That's what I'm talking um, about. But we still picked off the heart. We really don't let anyone just come in and say they As you should. Mm-hmm. As you should. As you should. As you should. Right. So um Bigger. Last get- year thirty, this year fifty, next year a hundred. Right. <sighs> Keep going. Mm-hmm. Most definitely. Keep going. And the guest speakers, how 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 that come along? Y'all y'all picked that solely, or they like <laughs> they reached out to y'all, or y'all y'all seen them before? No, Asia knew a few of them, and I knew like someone, and we just kind of like went from there. It just kind of was like people who were already incorporated, and in, like I know for like Asia, her life, and then like somebody that right. I already met too. Okay, and then Asia kept coming with all these dope people, and I'm like, bro, like. Hold on, wait. <laughs> I gotta bring something to the table. Right. I ain't got right. my people yet. Right. Nikki introduced us to to the judge. Yeah. She did great. Oh yeah. Yeah. But shout out to Miss Geraldine. Like Miss Geraldine, I call I call Miss Geraldine. I was like, hold on, wait. Maybe I need to like think of a different like category right. for a guest speaker instead of just like the typical business owner. You know what okay. I'm saying? Stuff like that or whatever. And I was like, all right. And I was like, you know what? Hold on. I just seen somebody dope because I was like looking on my social media, mm-hmm. and then I realized my contacts was way doper than my social media. And I was like, Nikki, you in the wrong lane. Yeah. Like, you, you messing up. Like, yeah. go through these contacts. Okay. And I went from there and reached out to Miss Geraldine, Miss Geraldine, and. She, Told us to reach out to somebody, right. and we met up with her, and that was Miss um, Judge Marilyn Goss. Okay, and everything just clicked. Judge, she from uh, what county or city? She in Richmond City. She's in Richmond City. Oh, so she's seen a lot. She's seen a lot, and she's so she's so mm-hmm. down to earth. Right. She is so down to earth. Right. Like just overall cool lady. Black lady. Black lady. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. No, no against nobody else, but I'm just saying. Right. It's yeah. Red funny. Women, mm-hmm. women empowerment is going on. <laughs> it's a whole lot of brown. It's going a whole down. lot of brown. <laughs> Hold on, it's, it's melanin, right? Yeah. Melanin. Yeah. A whole lot of you melanin. You know what going it is. On. <laughs> it's melanin, right? Like, like he know. <laughs> All right. So, so what's the? You know, we're gonna start with Nick first. So, what's your goals for this second event? That's a good question, Red. Right. Well, you ain't got no. No, nah, I ain't got that one. <laughs> I could have put it on. I um, <laughs> goals for the second event is to um to still touch a lot of people. I know at the last event it was really heartfelt. Right. Um. So I'm aiming for that to be the main thing. It's always to leave some type of impact on someone, mm. whether it's just one person in the crowd. You know, to like really connect with somebody. Um. That's goal one and goal two is just to um to leave that st- 
stain on everyone and a good stain. You know what I'm saying? Leave that imprint on everyone right. so that they feel comfortable and confident enough to go tell somebody else about it. Right. You know, just keep it going. Keep talking about it. Keep spreading it. You know, just to overall have a good event. Okay. Asia, what about you? My goal is for everybody to be able to mingle, network, and just meet people that are doing better, you know, so right. they'll have a, a better friend. And in the process of coming up, you just need to be around people who are one step up. And then right. You become who you are around. Um, as well as healing as well, being that we having a deep trauma exercise, mm-hmm. meet counselors. We have counselors in the back after the trauma, trauma exercise, <laughs> yes. Um also, just to relearn yourself, had to be her to become me, just getting a woman one step closer right. closer to figuring out who it is that they are because that's when life gets a little easier. Right. Mm-hmm. To, 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 to be two um, black women, right, and y'all operating and putting the stuff together, right, before the event start, let's just say thirty minutes. Do y'all is y'all nervous? The jitters? Hell yeah! Any what y'all doing before the event start? How y'all how y'all getting yourself? <laughs> we we getting our makeup done, fixing our hair. I just stay busy. Okay. This event really don't. It, it was nervous last year for me because I had to speak myself and I was right. speaking on past things. But I'm healed yeah. from it. But it's still just a matter of getting up there and speaking. But this year, we don't really have to speak. It's the jitters. Just make sure everybody show up on time. Yeah, yeah, Everybody's yeah. Make there. Make sure everything right. is rolling you know? in right. on so, time and in right. place. Have you, um, have y'all, have, have y'all received, uh, has anybody come up to y'all DM, DMs about the events? Fires, like, afterwards, like, y'all got, um, um, thank yous, well, uh, support. Of course, yeah. How'd that make you feel? Good. Yeah, Real you sleep good, good at night. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's dope to see, especially um, I could say like even months later. Right. You know what I mean? Like I for let me see, business and black was November, and the last one was in Parliament yep. was May. Yep. So like okay, so I would say maybe around June, I was still getting like random messages in regards to the women's empowerment, and then um, business and black happened November, and I had like gave up social media. Okay. For a little minute. And yeah. I got on there and I had like some requests from like two females that just had ran across my page. Like, yo, like you really, you know, just like mm-hmm. those thank yous and the inspiring, you know, little right. stuff that they feel as if they, you put in their life. And it's like, yo, like I ain't even did nothing. Mm. You know, that's how, you, right. like sometimes we think like, I ain't really even did nothing yet. Like yeah, I ain't did what crazy. I thought yeah, I did yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to show you some shit. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm, I'm getting there, but it's like that's that's pretty dope. That's all right though. Mm-hmm. And to um to to um do the first event, and then you you actually got a second one that's going. And, and you saw y'all say y'all got what like ten tickets? Fifteen left. Fifteen, 15 left. Let's let's first of all let's get these fifteen tickets sold. That y'all looking at this yes. video because I'm definitely putting it out. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. Let's get these 15 tickets. So tell them where Pick they can find those me. Tickets. Where so they can find it these is tickets at? Me versus her what? versus me. Her, H E R V S E M P O W E R dot eventbrite dot com. Mm-hmm. And you can also get the tickets on hand from me or Nikki. You could contact me, me and get to Nikki at 804 277 7760. 804 277 7760. Y'all heard it. <laughs> Let's get these last tickets sold. Let's get them out. So, um, Asia, you were saying for somebody who hasn't been at the event, right? Mm-hmm. You say that you got a um, activities mm-hmm. schedule. What type uh-huh. of activities? Because you, you just said like you said trauma something. The trauma healing exercise is deep. You will um, put your back to another lady in the room, and then you close your eyes. And I have my um, former. Um, counselor from when I was incarcerated doing something that was real healing for me while I was away. She t- touches on pretty much anything um, someone could go through. Right. And then we just have the counselors wrapping it back up after just in case if somebody feels like they need to speak to someone or anything like that. And then, of course, I have a positive exercise. Okay. Just a nice affirmation I read every day um, while incarcerated. Right. Just a feel-good affirmation that we'll say after. And then, of course, we'll play a nice song. Okay. Just to really back in. So, so the people that's um, that's that partake in this activity, right? So they're able to 
share personal information while being, I guess. But we'll have um, a segment for that as Mm -hmm. well, where um, everyone will be able to open up amongst their table. So it's still kind of like intimate. They don't have to stand up. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like whoever's sitting at your table, they can discuss and open up to. Right. Um, in terms of those, that personal information. Right. And that's just, I, I say for the event, it's kind of like the beginning of the healing process. Yeah. Because in order to heal, you have to acknowledge what it is that hurts you. Man, you said a big one right there. <laughs> you do. Yeah. And a lot of people don't know. And I. Or they're afraid to. They are. They're the either afraid to or they don't know. And then sometimes people are addicted to like pain and trauma. Right. And they don't even realize it. Right. And they start hearing people speak. They start seeing, you know, people right. do different stuff. And it's like, maybe I am addicted. Or, you know, like, because otherwise, why would I keep having this type of person or yeah. like keep putting myself in this predicament to allow these type of people to be around me yeah. or doing this to me, you know, and then you have to take accountability too. Yeah. That's amazing. I thing. need to get my mom a ticket because the way y'all. <sighs> <laughs> yeah, get her a ticket. I man. thought of another thing that we doing this year that we didn't do last year and I'm glad. Okay. We had a lot of panel discussions last year and we touched on a lot about men. This year, I really don't want the story to lead straight to a man i kind of want to focus on the women the healing and finding yourself okay the man thing i i want to leave out here soon i plan to have a man's empowerment event and and just probably have a few ladies in there to say how they feel on right now based off what's going on and let the men branch off of that but I feel like it was too much of men being discussed at the women's event. It was men and, and like the alcohol. relationships. It was no alcohol this time. No alcohol. The bar's upstairs. Okay. Right. <laughs> they want to right. go to the bar. So, mm-hmm. so if if y'all can say uh, about women today in, in today's world, what do you feel needs to be changed far from a, a woman's aspect? What in, in regards to the world in general? Yeah, because I mm. mean some. These men that's watching now need to hear what y'all saying at these events. You know, it needs to be carried out. I don't know. I wouldn't even say it would just be more so like for directly for the men because again, that's a part of taking accountability. Right. Right. You know, and right. I, if if anything, that's it. Like taking accountability for right. ourselves and for the things that we put ourselves through. Okay. You know, a lot of people. Um, it's always you, you, you. But look, yeah. that he's pointing right back at you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you did this to me. You did this to me. And then mess around, they leave that person, and they're going through the same thing with somebody else. So, baby, it must be you. Right. Whether it's a man or a woman, it's something that you're doing. It's something in you that's attracting this. We are what we attract. We are what we attract. You know what I'm saying? And then hurt people hurt people. Mm -hmm. So if you haven't, like, realized what is actually hurting you, you're going to be doing the same thing. Over and over. Or allowing the same thing to happen to you. Because, like, I can say, honestly, I've seen people, even myself at one point in time, it's like, I was trying to correct something in somebody else that I love so much. Okay. Right? Yeah. And in trying to correct that, I was allowing things to happen. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, right. it, I'm not happy. You know, basically, I'm feeling as if just, right. like, I'm in a relationship. Oh, we just going through ups and downs. But ultimately, like, you know, the unpleasant things are going on to make all of this drama, to make all of this, you know, BS going right. on in my right. life and this person's life. So now I leave this person. It finally ends. And then I'm with another person. And I'm starting to see the same pattern. Well, why is that, Nikki? Yeah. Why is that? Mm -hmm. That's because you're still choosing the same type of person. Mm -hmm. And you didn't learn from it. And you didn't heal from it. So, honestly, God is going to allow this to keep happening until you learn your lesson. Until you take account. You know what I'm saying? Until you learn your lesson to be able to, like, ah, you know what? I see what's going on. We ain't going to cross this road. You're not good for me. I'm not good for you. You know what I'm saying? Me me evaluating um, how I grew up. Especially like I, <clears throat> especially with my mom. Some, well, most of the time, trauma can go unnoticed mm-hmm. from your family, your peers, because you, like you said, once you start accepting it, it just it just becomes a, a cycle. It becomes your normal. Yeah. Ugh. Like I joke all the time. Like it's 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 been a time where I couldn't when I was younger. I was just like angry everything. 
now I joke about it. Like my mom relationship with uh my brother's dad, it took us through a whole swindle of emotion, a roller coaster. Mm-hmm. He was a he was a crack addict. Mm-hmm. So imagine being in love with, with somebody addicted to crack. Yeah, that's yeah. just like <laughs> very interesting. Like then, let's just say that. You you looking you looking at your mom because you like you don't you don't see this. Mm-hmm. You know, but it took it took it took God to take him away for her to notice, right? Then after she noticed, it was like, Dad, I missed that a lot with my kids. I put my kids through a lot of pain and suffering. Mm-hmm. And then me growing up in that aspect, um, I resolved into fighting, getting in trouble, in and out of school, juveniles. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was overprotective. Very overprotective of my brother and my my, my uh, sisters. So anytime, like any, and then I had to tell myself, I had to tell myself because like my father was in my life. I had to tell myself that okay, you gotta leave these excuses and trauma alone. That's mm-hmm. another thing. Yeah, you can't keep blaming the things that's right. happening to you on that. Or oh, I'm like this because this <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. oh, I do this because it is, you know. Mm-hmm. And that's like you said, accountability and. W- what uh what changed me one day? I think I was I was getting on the bus. I was going to work, and I this uh this lady and she was drinking and stuff, and she was kept t- she was like I'm like this because of my mom, like this because of my dad, and I'm just riding I'm riding on the bus, and I'm just I'm like I say the same shit. I don't want to be like that. <laughs> like that joke woke me up. That you looking at the lady like I don't want to be yeah. like her. <laughs> yeah, I was like man, I'm saying this. I'm saying the same stuff. So. I started working those words out of my body. Mm-hmm. And then, like I said, I you just had stopped. to train your brain. You had to train. It's hard, though. It oh, is hard. hard. It is hard. Yes. It's not easy. Like, I still go through training my brain. Like, dealing with, I, thank God, I can say I was so scared, like, being found out that I was pregnant. And I was like, what am I going to do? Because the medication that I take for my anxiety and right. stuff. I can't take. Right. So I'm going to have to switch. And then it was like, okay, do I really want to switch? Mm. And I had started, before I even knew, had any idea I was pregnant, I had started fasting on and off from like November or whatever. And um, I think I had ran out of my med- medication like early December, right? Didn't think it, didn't take it, didn't think about it, just had been praying, you right. know, whatever, whatever. Come January, I found out I'm pregnant. So, um, Matter of fact, before I even got pregnant, I had asked my primary care, like, yo, so if I did get pregnant, like, you know, about to switch in the meds, blah, yeah. blah, blah. She's like, you want me to go yeah. ahead and send an order in just in case? I'm like, no, no, I'm good. Right. So when I find out, I'm like, whoa, so I am pregnant. And, but wait, it's been a month and some change. Yeah. And I haven't had any need to, like, mm-hmm. really feel like I needed this medication right. that I was on, yet alone to start taking a new one. Right. So, um, like, healing it is, it's within. And I say, like, to deal with that anxiety and stuff like that, even whether I was taking my medicine or not, right. um, the training your brain is really, really effective because some days you wake up, and you just like, I'm over it. I don't want to get out of bed. Like, I don't want to be normal today. And yeah. it's okay to say I'm not okay. Right. Like, today I'm not okay. Right. But as an adult, I know I still got to take care of my kids. Right. I know I still need to go to work because, hey, I ain't got no more time to call out. <laughs> <laughs> I can't call out for nothing for, until that May. Be, that be them days. January. That's a mental health day. That's what yeah. like. But for real, though, you know what I'm saying? Shoot, you only get a few of those with my job. I need yeah. another one. You know? Yeah. So it's like. To really train my brain, like, you know what, Nikki, you're not okay, but okay. you're going to get up you're gonna get, you're gonna and get you're going to, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, training yeah. your brain just step mm-hmm. by step, like that shit is major. Yeah. Like it's really major and it's effective. And people will look at you like when you say that or like think like, I'm not doing that shit. Like, oh yeah, yeah that sounds good. I'm going to try it. But then when it comes to really doing it, they feel awkward because yeah. you're really like talking to right. yourself. Right. And you don't have to say it out loud if it, you don't feel the need to. Right. But even if you just sitting there and you're repeatedly saying this in your head and thinking it, it definitely changes your energy. Right. 
Like, before you know it, you in your car and you driving to work. You're like, how the hell I get here? Yeah. Yo. <laughs> you almost there. Let's go. Listen, it's, <laughs> it's been, I, I don't know what you call it, but I think a lot. Like, I really do think a lot, right? And what you just said, me just going through a lot of stuff in my head. Next thing you know, I was pulling back work. I was like, how the fuck did mm-hmm. I get here mm-hmm. that fast? Because mm-hmm. <laughs> you just didn't thought you didn't thought it all out. Yeah, some, some of it didn't have it made sense. It was yeah. it's a left unanswered, <laughs> but the thought is there. And little do you know, God, I'm gonna send another thought through. And you be like, you know what? I was thinking that you. Yeah, yeah. That's all. Right. You gave yeah. me what I needed. Okay, now yeah. I got the answer. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Asia, right? Um, don't go too deep. Just keep it a little shallow, right? So. People that that's been locked up and been un- incarcerated, right? Some of those people tend to relapse and, and go back. I'm weak off. Don't go too deep. Go ahead. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying you ain't got to You ain't got to put all your personal John out there. You know what I'm saying? But say it again. So, you know, some people, you know, because they tend to, you know, go in and then they keep going in and keep going in. Mm-hmm. What's the, what stop? What you was thinking and how that process went about that? You was like, when I step out, that's it. I ain't going, I ain't going back in this motherfucker. For that sure. was my first time, and that my first time was a long time. I I don't have nothing else to give. That's right. that was three years. So three years, okay. Yeah, that's that's just enough to get what you need to get. Exactly. You know, mm-hmm. I you know what I admire you for real, cause you Thank you I think you are you one voice for many that's going through what you already been through right now. You know what I'm saying? God put God put a lot of voice, a small voice in us that could be heard. Right. You know, a long way. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I really like what y'all been doing though. Thank, Thank you, Ray. Thank That's you. so sweet. And when we see y'all, I've been seeing y'all still staying steady with the recordings too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Back in action. Yeah, back in yes, action. Yes. We had a time last time. Uh-huh. <laughs> we had a time last time. <laughs> we just man. got pad apple juice and stuff yeah, to today, we y'all. We can't man. we can't be spilling for real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and this year at the event, I'll be a minister by then. I get ministered in Saturday. Mm-hmm. Give it up for my girl. <laughs> y'all give it up for Asia. Man. I want our lives to hear this clapping and he out. Y'all right. give it up for Asia. Man. Mm-hmm. How that come about? One of the speakers at the event, I met her at a um Formerly incarcerated people movement conference out in Atlanta. Yeah. Working on some nonprofit stuff with my dad. He does a lot of nonprofit work in New York. And I was just telling her my callings and, you know, things I was called to do. And she um gave me a 60 day challenge. Nikki was on with me most days. Well, we just finding out greater purpose in life. And then she offered for, offered me the opportunity to come out and get my ministry license with her this um weekend because she's doing the opening for um I guess a church. I've been so busy, it's bad, but I just know I'm going. Yeah, out there. right. It's a church opening. Yeah, for her church opening out in Atlanta, I think Forest Park, I believe. Forest mm-hmm. Park. Okay. Mm-hmm. Congratulations, man. Thank you. That's all right. Mm-hmm. All right. You know this is my favorite part of the show. Your dad joke. You better get your dad joke together. <laughs> I saw her. Get your dad joke together. I'm doing mad that I told you, <laughs> <laughs> bro. I can't get your dad joke. Let me Google. Why well, can't be a mom joke? It's Mother's Day month. Mom, get your mom joke out. Let me Google that and see what comes up. Mom because jokes. yeah, mom <laughs> jokes. They're probably like super, super corny. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's see what it says. Um, yeah, you know, you know you're supposed to have that joke when you come I on know. here. Let me see. Malik said y'all cute. Thank y'all. Thanks, Malik. This is red right here, y'all, because I ain't telling you. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? The Spill Podcast. Yes, we in here. Okay, so I don't even like the mom jokes. Let me just read this one right here because it just really pissed me off. All right, it's all right. like super corny. Oh, did it disappear? All I know it said was, hold on. Where is it? I love to be a Pinterest mom, but it turns out I'm more of an Amazon Prime mom. Like, that's not even a joke. Yeah, that's not even that's funny. Your bet. That's your I no, that's not mine. Well, that's not mine. I oh, just I'm about to say okay. that that just disturbed me. So I'm going to dad. I'm going to the dad jokes. Because yeah. they be having me tickled because I do like a corny one. <laughs> Where is it? 
So, Red, what's been going on with the podcast? I heard you say you was ready to pick up the mic and the camera and start going breezing through the city because it's getting warm. So, yeah, what um, events you looking at? Um, um, we, we about to start just spilling on the streets. You know what I'm saying? We about to um, hit up a couple of uh, black businesses. Are y'all going to name it that? Spill sp- on the streets? Yeah, spill on the streets. I That's like that. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. You know, so we just going to... Um, I just had like a whole vision. I want y'all yeah. to have y'all little thing where like it's like a street and then the cup spilling. And it's like, <laughs> like just like ooze out though, not a splash. Right. It's just like spill out. And it's like, Psh. and then y'all like, yo, what's up? It's red and frail. <laughs> you know yeah, we take, it, we take it to the streets, you know, because um, I feel like our vibe is just like people, people, people fuck with us. You know what I'm saying? And um, we just take it out in the streets, you know, mm-hmm. meet new people. Um, talk to these black uh, business owners and um, get get uh, live because uh, real DJ. So right, we right. get a lot of drunk people on camera as well. Okay, yeah. You know, we spilling. You know, that's what we yeah, do. And that's what y'all going to do. Yeah. So, yeah, just trying to take the channel up more. And um, just trying for uh, one of our main goals right now, um, just trying to be the best podcast in Virginia right now. You know what I'm saying? And y'all can do it. So That's what we're doing. I think I found mine, but I want y'all you. Want. I want y'all to go first. All right, and now the dad joke of the day. Are y'all ready? Mm-hmm. Nick Asia, <laughs> did you hear about the man who stole a calendar? No. He got twelve months. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm trying to find mine. You don't get it. Say it again, man. Say it again. Did you hear? Did you hear about the man who stole the calendars? He got twelve months. What is it? I don't get it. It's going over my head. Twelve months in a year. Twelve months in a year. Calendars. The man who stole the calendar. He got twelve months. What's the joke in it though? See, my sister, a calendar got 12 months in it. I know that. Yeah. Well, well, how is that pertaining to the Because he stole, he stole it. So he got 12 <laughs> months. Oh, oh, oh. So you're saying the dad's locked up. That's what you're saying. Yeah. No, don't go that far. <laughs> Just stay there. It's going on my head. <laughs> I knew about The joke I told Nikki, that's not even. It's not. Yeah. She so swears it's funny. It she swears it's so funny. To me, but it wouldn't be funny. To she them. swears it's so funny. I'm gonna read mine before we even go. Nah, go All ahead, right. read yours. No, you go. I'm listening. <laughs> Hold I on. I ain't gonna say that messed up one. That ain't funny. Right? Cause I was like, what? Angel? <laughs> she was like, don't say that one. No, no, my G. Okay. All right. I think I don't know. I don't know what I, I do. Well, um, his joke. <laughs> I think I think laugh. I just had a long time. You a trip. All right. Okay. So yeah. What did you say? What you got in it? I got it. I remember it. <clears throat> Dad joke. Y'all know why I don't like sales? Why? Why? Because they always up to something. Ah! <laughs> I got that. <laughs> And yeah. Like yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Asia. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> that she got us though. I don't, can't believe you didn't get the calendar. Don't, don't. Yeah. That was a good one, right? Yeah. Really. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. It's the that. first one I see right here on my ass. Okay. <laughs> Red, pull me up with some juice, man. Oh, i you know what? Excuse my hospitality. You know, I got pine. This is pineapple juice. It's no, this is non-alcoholic. <laughs> All right, I found one, y'all. On, no ice. No ice. But, now I want some ice. It probably, yep. Oh, snap. <laughs> you thought you was going to have a drinking partner today? I thought so. It, it, it caught me all by surprise. Why? Because we turned up so bad last time. It was, it was wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did we put a damper in your, in your itinerary? No, nah. nah, we live. We tr- we what? know this is what we do. This is what we do. It ain't nothing, you know. After that, cause I seen y'all on the Instagram. Y'all went out. Y'all turned up after that, John. Believe. Mm. Yeah. You got your joke, Asian. Yep. Yeah. All right, yeah, we ready? Put your mic up. We want to hear. And first, I want to say I got this straight off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> straight off the internet. Let's go. <clears throat> 
Why do fathers take an extra pair of socks when they go golfing? Why? In case they get a hole in one. I knew it was okay. something like that. All right, all right. I got you. you. I, that was a good that one. That was a good one. It was, it was the best that I could pick from right she here. She don't even think it's funny, though. That's, a, that's <laughs> the fucked up part. As long as somebody think it's funny, that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> somebody go laugh. Uh, that was a good one. So, look. All right. So, when y'all been working all day, and, you know, it's time to get in the bed, right? Mm-hmm. What What is some comfort shows that, y- that y'all just put on? Comfort shows? Yeah, that's some feel-good shows that... I know I'm gonna start with me first. Yeah. It depends. I can watch I can watch Martin like they new episodes. Yeah. I can do rewinds on Martin. But I'm gonna be real. I'm I don't even feel like these shows are comfort shows because it's a lot of violence and what's yeah. going on that I'm into. Yeah. But um honestly, I can watch um Dang, I was just about to say it. Ozark. Ozark. I can watch oh, Ozark yeah. over and over again. Yeah. Like I've never saw it before. That was my shit. That's like Ozark. one of my throwbacks. Yeah, Ozark. That, that's my shit. You watch you ain't watch it yet? I think I watched it a little bit. I haven't I haven't been watching nothing really. There's no new episodes on it, so it's yeah. like uh oh, yeah. mm-hmm. but I can like pull that up. But they was on a run and they was doing like some bank fraud or something like that. He had to launder the money. Yeah, he was laundering the money. Yeah, yeah, him, his wife. I saw yeah. Marty. My grandma was into it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. See, oh, that's grandma why was into it? My grandma, she, she retired. She, she watched everything. She with the shits. She tried to <laughs> he he sit right no there way. and yeah. watch TV all day. I tell she her. She a classy yeah. with the shits. Yeah. Yeah. I like the Parkers. That's my feel good real quick. Even if it's five minutes. The Parkers. How did I watch the Parkers in a minute? How did the theme go? Um... Gonna, it's the Parkers. Oh, Dang, is that it? I, I go. How the Parkers go? Why I want to sing something else? I don't know. How the Parkers oh, no, that go? That was another song. Nah, then we gotta, you gotta look Dang, at it. How the Parkers on. go? Dang, how do hold the Parkers on. go? I'm gonna have to play it, man. Yes, I'm gonna have to play it because I forget. I'm ready to say living single. That's what I've been ready to say. <laughs> we all living. 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 I can watch some old living singles. I too. can definitely watch live. You know what? For the longest time, I always thought that was Maxine dancing when it first come on. I did too. Cause you know she had the little the, the um, dread. Yeah. yeah, I thought it was her too, but it wasn't. I think I figured it out because maybe she ain't have enough butt. Yes, <laughs> that's definitely it. Yeah, but ain't it giving living singles? <laughs> it's just a them. Hold on, we gotta hear the words. Where the parking? Yep, there you go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> You better sing, Conscious. Yeah, that was her singing, man. Mm, she could hold a note. Yeah, she could sing. She is she a little... I don't what's she know. Doing she I don't know what now? she doing. I think so. I think she a little... Yeah, I think so. A lot of people... It was like her and Raven Simone. They might be cousins, too. Yeah, yeah. They look Raven. like they could so. be related. Yeah. <laughs> I just... I was saying something on Raven. They was like, Raven ain't supposed to be the main character on this show. Oh, yeah, yeah, on Raven? Yeah. Oh, on that's on Raven. No, that's on Raven. Sense. It was called. It was. It was called some something psychic, and then it was like a. It was a white leading actress, and Raven is supposed to have been a sidekick. But the the film and um, the, the the director like Raven so much, they made her. Uh-huh. Oh, she stole the show. Yeah, she well, stole I'm the show. I'm here for that. Raven so stealing Raven the did, show. She definitely did that. Yeah. All right, I'm just gonna wrap this thing up. So listen. What do y'all hope to achieve May 14th? You started. Um, I hope to achieve everybody getting what it is that they came for. Okay. And leaving and remembering the event and looking forward to the next one. To the next one. Yep. Mine's just kind of the same. You know what? You know my favorite saying. I hope everyone is poured into Right, <laughs> you know, we got a lot of sayings to be poured into. We got a lot of sayings this episode. Yeah, cause it be real. Like we be like for real, Asia and I be saying this stuff mm-hmm. to each other, like right. to ourselves. Like you have to be able to speak it, like right. believe it, like yeah. become it, manifest, yeah. yeah, manifest. And it's just like speaking into uh, fruition. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. a sweet one. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Fruition. Yeah, let me, let me say that. <laughs> say it. May fourteenth. <14th. laughs> Y'all come to the Women in Empowerment event. Mm-hmm. I'm speaking into fruition. Mm-hmm. Yes. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>
And come go ahead, get get on the Spill podcast and come catch a vibe. Yes, yes sir. Yes, yes sir. come catch a vibe. Y'all get them tickets off of Eventbrite or Hit Asia and I up. We only got about 15 seats up. So we need y'all in the building, all the ladies. And also, um, the age is 16. But, of course, if you are 16, because it's Mother's Day, and okay. we're, we want so many people to actually be touched. Right. Um, if you are 16, like you're, you have a daughter that's 16, and you feel like you want her to be, accompany you as a mother, great. Um, if you're a teenager and you're interested, then you have to have someone that's 21 and older mm-hmm. with you to um, accompany you there the whole time. So that'll be two tickets that would need to be purchased. But other than that, yeah, it's going to be a mature atmosphere. So, of course, we don't want to... You know, anybody to come and feel like, hey, well, you are we're talking about this and that advisor. It's a mature audience, um, but it is inspirational. It's motivational and it's something that's going to be healing and, you know, to complete you. We are better together. <laughs> we are better <laughs> together. Nick, tell where they can find you at. You can find me at I Nick, that's I N I I K by Nikki B on Instagram. And I don't even know my Facebook. What's my Facebook? Is it Nick Nat? No, Nick, it's not. Nicky Nick. It's Nick Nick. I don't know, y'all. I don't change. I change. It's definitely not my full name. It's either Nick. We about to find out. Because I'm a lie. I don't want to do that to y'all. I don't want to lie to y'all. Pause. Pause. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah Pause. Yeah. Yeah. Quick interjection. You can't even get to Facebook. Shoot. After it's, I think it's Nick Nat. Because I want to say I was like I Nick Nat, Patty Nick. Whack, give a dog a. I'd have had too many, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's Nikki Nick. <laughs> Nikki Nick on Facebook, y'all. Yes, that's it. Find me on Facebook at Nikki Nick or on Instagram at I Nick by Nikki B. And y'all make sure y'all stay in tune with my Instagram too because I've been doing some stuff. I forgot to mention I um, had my lingerie on a locally filmed reality show. Oh, word? Yeah. It's called You Got It All. Okay. Or a jack of all trades. So y'all okay. check that out on Royal K Network. Um, it'll start airing sometime this month. So I'll definitely be on there uh, for one of the challenges. And I was so good, according to them, that I got welcome back for season two. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, to be a clothing sponsor and judge again. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. you know, my my bad. <laughs> my bad. You know, give, give it up for Nick. You know, uh, my bad. <laughs> she bought, she, you heard her. She was on season one, about to be back on season two. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. Peace out. <laughs> hey, tell them where they can find you at. You can find me on IG at G I M M I W A T I W A N T. And my Facebook is Asia Morris, A Y S I A H, last name Morris, M O R R I S. She just likes spelling, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I say, tell them where you can find me at, I be thinking about Nelly. You can find me. Oh, <laughs> I don't know. I think that's that Kendall Jenner right there. That mm-hmm. I'm going on. Mm-hmm. But look, um, you can find me, Red Dooski, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, R-E-D-D underscore D-U-S-K-I. If y'all don't know, this is a spill podcast. Check in with the spill, baby. And we out.